Welcome to Smart Champs. <coughs> this is our next question. A particle is projected vertically upwards from a point A on the ground and it takes time T1 to reach a point B but it still continues <coughs> but it still continues to move up. If it takes a further T2 time to reach the ground from the point B then the height of the point B from the ground is option A of G into T1 plus T2 whole square G T1 T2 option C of G into T1 plus T2 whole square option C I think it is repeated and its option D is the correct answer how it is we are going to see in the next few minutes wanna give it a try you can give it a try and <coughs> you can pause the video and give it a try and here the scenario I have explained in the figure over here from the point A the ball or a particle whatever you like it's projected upwards like this and it has reached the point B and point B to point C point C is the maximum height it can reach with the velocity assume with the velocity u with which we have projected now we know at the maximum height the velocity will be zero that we know clear and now assume that it has reached from point A to the point B they already given the time is t1 and from b to c assume the time is t now from the point b onwards the particle is coming down and hits the ground the particle comes to the ground and it will hit the ground that's well known and now the scenario is that we have to understand is that uh, from here, from the point B, to hit the ground, it takes time T2. From to reach the point B, it's time T1. It takes time T2, that is A to B, the time is T1. And from B to C, and again C to back to A. So this is how A to B, B to C, and then back to A, the time is T2. And now the total journey, if I have to take it, that is A to C and C to A. The time of ascent equal to time of descent. So the time of total time. So we can write total time of journey is T1 plus T2. Now as time of ascent equal to time of descent one can say that the time to reach the highest point is t1 plus t2 by 2 the time to reach the highest point is T1 plus T2 by 2. We are clear about this. From A to C, the time to reach the highest point, that will be T1 plus T2 by 2. We need to find the height AB. What is the height AB? Assume it is H. This is what we have to find. Fine. And now, we need to make out a relation between the time of ascent or the time of descent and the velocity it's very simple so let's hope you have noted up to this point now the condition is that remember this one t1 plus t2 by 2 so here uh, what would be the velocity at this point let's find out so v equal to u plus at kind of equation will apply the, at this point B, the velocity B, at B, this is what I want, velocity at B, the velocity at B will be U minus GT, Y minus GT is, it is against to the gravitation, and what time it took to reach the point D is T1, so 
u minus g t one. That's very fine. And now from this point to this point, it has flow. It has taken a time of t, and it has covered some distance, whatever it is. So assume that uh, it has covered a distance of let us say y itself. It covered a distance of y. That is B C distance. It has covered a distance of y. Apply the equation as equal to u t plus half a d square. At this velocity at the point B is this one B B. This is the one we have to use. So u minus g t one. That is the velocity part. It took a time of t to reach the point C. Again, the gravity is against the velocity. So minus half g t square. One can write like this. And now that is the B C distance as shown by. And again, when it comes back from C to B, the time of ascent equal time of descent. It will take the same time t. So by now we know that t plus t one, that is t one plus t should be equal to t one plus t two by two. Wherever this comes, I can replace with this. Please keep this in mind. And now. For the time it takes from C to B, at the highest point the velocity is zero. That we know very well. So at the highest point the velocity is zero. Apply s equal to u t plus half g t square. So it becomes half g t one t square. That's it. Because these two are y and y, I can equate these two. So I get the scenario. I'll get it off. I'll get a scenario that. Half g t square is equal to u minus g t one times t minus half g t square. So I can write this half g t square. I'll transport over here. G t square is equal to u minus g t one times t. The t t can be cancelled because time is non-zero. So one can write that. Uh, g t one. Let's transport to this side. G t plus g t one is equal to u. Fantastic. So u is equal to g into t plus t one. Wherever t plus t one comes, you can replace with t one plus t two by two. T one plus t two by two. So u, I found it as. T1 g into T1 plus T2 by 2. Simple equation. And now almost our problem is solved. And let's clear this off. And now I need to find what is the the distance AB. AB distance. Let us say a b distance. That is what is required. H that is equal to s equal to u t plus half t square will as apply. U t that is u t one minus half g t one square. Now instead of u, we can substitute this. So u is equal to we can apply g into t one plus t two by two times t one. Minus half g t one square. So half g t one square plus half g t one t two minus half g t one square. Half g t one square is cancelled out. You got half g t one t two. That's the required height h. That's the distance a b. It has reached from the point a to the point b. And has the answer. Hope you liked the video, and I wish uh, you like this video. And uh, I strongly request your recommend your subscriptions. And thanks for watching my.